welcome in again. We're here at the uh, the defenseman, right? Yes, sir. Of the uh, Vegas Jesters, uh, Tyler Delessio, right? Yes, sir. Tyler's a, a Vegas native. Yep. Born and bred. Played a little hockey out in Colorado. Came back. Um, Four-year veteran on the team. Tell us about uh, semi-pro hockey. What's it all about? Well, a lot of guys, uh, especially in years past, took it as just beer league with hitting. Um, it's a completely different animal. You got you got everybody from your beer league all stars all the way to ex NHL and AHL players mixing in, and it's it. You can't describe the type of animal it is. One word, the same saying you hear all growing up: keep your head up. <laughs> so you're talking about guys anywhere from 18 to what, upper 30s? Uh, I believe the oldest guy on our team is 43. Wow. So uh, how does that work with all you guys adapting? Does it, does it change the style of play or the speed of the game, or is it all pretty consistent? Um, it, it, it was a little tough at first to get. You got a bunch of West Coast players versus a bunch of East Coast players, old school hockey, new school. A lot of guys that want to dangle through everybody, and then a lot of guys that just want to run you through the boards. Um, but Coach and Joe and, and Zach have done a great job of helping us mesh, putting structure in place, incorporating the physical side with the finesse, and uh, we have, we have a beautiful a beautiful storm brewing this year. So you guys have an 18 game schedule. Tell me a little bit about that and, and your life off the ice. What do, what do you do besides this? Um, I I spent a couple years cooking, uh, but. I, Recently, I was selling cars. You were, everybody works there nine to fives, and then we just, we have a practice Tuesday and Thursday. We, boys, we we go out, we do our community outreach, and then on the weekends we put on a show. So it's a it's a labor of love, isn't it? I mean, Absolutely. You be dedicated to to continue to play the game that you love and something that you learn at a young age. And the opportunities that Vegas is providing right now is is really insurmountable, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Growing up here. Um, Unless you already played hockey or somebody in your family played hockey outside of Vegas, you didn't even know we had a hockey community. And then with the Knights and their success, it's just, it's completely blossomed tenfold. And you and I ran into each other at a UNLV game last season. Yes, sir. So, so tell me what the difference is between this year's squad and last year's squad. Definitely a lot, a lot of structure. Um, a lot more putting the right pieces in the right places and uh, going out there and playing the right style that fits all of our styles and taking the advantage points of everybody and putting them in the right place. You know, I'm calling this uh, Hockey Week in Vegas because there's so much hockey activity going on um, from the pro level all the way down to the, the youth level, but has Vegas become a hockey city in your estimation? Oh, absolutely. The day the day they announced we were possibly getting a team three years ago, this I saw the storm start folding over. Granted, we always had the Frozen Fury and, but it was still a bunch of, you had all of your LA people coming down, you had all of your Colorado people coming down, but now now it's it's been brewing with the Wranglers and the Thunder, now now having the Knights and having their success, you, it just, it's nothing we ever imagined growing up. Tyler, appreciate your time, good luck this season, okay? Thank you.